Right folks, here we are with another Ice Trikes recumbent tricycle that I'm going to be um, converting to electric assist using a Tongsheng TSDZ2 mid-drive motor. As you can see I've already started the conversion. I've removed the, um, the crank set and bottom bracket. That's the uh, that's a crank puller, that's what you use for the removing the bottom bracket. I've taken a few photographs. Um, yeah, nice, nice trike this one. But they're all nice trikes really, I mean, uh, incredibly well made. And over here we have the kit, which I've unboxed, ready. That's the motor there, that's a 250 watt 36 volt, um, road legal in the UK, in that particular one. This here is the P-clip we'll use to clamp around the boom to, uh, to secure the motor in place. Obviously you've got crank arms, speed sensor, still waiting on the extension cable for that one. That's your, um, your lock ring, obviously your bolts for the pedal. Uh, v LCD 5 display and a spanner that comes with a kit. So yeah, I shall be um, I shall be installing this. I'm probably going to leave the front mech on this particular bike because it has got internal cable route and I don't really want to remove the shifter. So um, what I'll probably do is I'll just leave the mech in place and set limit screws on it. But yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the motor now. I'll take some more photographs. And uh, when it's all done, I shall um, yeah, do a little video of me riding it. There it is, that is the, um, the Tongsheng TSDZ2 mid-drive motor fitted to the um, ICE recumbent trike. As you can see, it's quite a neat installation. I'll just go around here a second and show you the, um, the torque collar I've used. This is what secures the motor in place to stop it from, uh, from twisting. It's, um, it's a 38mm P-clip. Uh, got to be steel, don't get an um, alloy one because it will it'll just split, so it needs to be a steel one. Um, and yes, basically, I don't know if you can see under there, it fastens into the motor there. So that will stop the motor from twisting um, when, you, when you pedal it. I haven't got a lot left to do on this bike now. I've installed the display there. So you can, um, I'll just give you a give you a better view of it. Yeah, so there's a display. Keypads there. So that's your that's your plus. Or your, your yeah, that's your that's your increased power. That's your decreased power. There's the um, V LCD five display. Mirrors lined up nicely. And that way, yeah, so all we got to do now is fit this 17 amp hour battery. And uh, for that, we're going to use a, um, a Terra Cycles battery mount kit, which is currently in that box. I'll, um, I'll unpack it in a little minute and um, take some photographs of it for you. Right, there we have it. This is the, um, the TerraCycle battery mounting kit, uh, specifically designed to mount an electric bike battery onto a recumbent trike or a recumbent bike. So, um, yeah, there it is. It's pretty straightforward. That's the clamp that goes around the, um, the tube at the back. It's 1.75 inch diameter, which is, uh, I've been told, is the correct one for the ice trike. That's the, um, the bar that goes down and that's your battery mounting plate and then we'll be, we'll be screwing the battery onto that. 
So yeah, I'm gonna um, I'll get on and install this, and then what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like when it's all fitted. That is a TerraCycle battery mounting uh, plate fitted. And so this is specially made for recumbent tricycles, recumbent bikes. Um, and yeah, it's a fairly straightforward installation. What I've done here is I've put a little bit of um, bar tape just to protect the frame. And then basically yeah, it clamps on here. And then I've, I've had to put some um, spaces in here. You can actually buy a, a spacer from TerraCycle. It's, it's quite expensive though, you know, it's... Um, but that, what, what that would do is it, it would bring it out a little bit, but I, lucky enough I had some spaces knocking about. But yeah, there you go. And then obviously the battery, the battery mounting plate will go there. And it's just a case of um, just a case of connecting the battery up and taking it for a spin. I've uh, just installed the speed sensor which is this little thing here. Now, a common mistake a lot of people make is misaligning the speed sensor with the magnet. They mistakenly line it up with this thing here. Well, I don't know if you can see where my finger is. There's a tiny little arrow on the speed sensor itself, and that is where you should line the magnet, as close as, you know. And ideally, it should be maybe, I don't know, three to five millimeters gap maximum. But yeah, that's the speed sensor mounted. All we're waiting for now is an extension lead to um, hook up with the motor at the front. And this motor will be, this bike will be ready to go. And I must say, I'm really looking forward to taking this for a test. Well, there we have it. Another recumbent trike fitted with a Tongsheng TSDZ2 mid-drive conversion kit. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to do quite a few of these electric bike conversion kits now. I mean, if if you want your um, if you've got a recumbent trike or just a normal recumbent bike, two wheeled one, and um, you know you want you, you know you want to get electric assist, then these are really really good little kits. Um, you know they produce quite a lot of torque, very nice smooth torque sensing pedal assist. <coughs> And they, they do seem to complement these. They're really popular now, actually, on um, on recumbent trikes. But, yeah, as you can see, the speed sensor connector cable still hasn't arrived. So um, we'll be taking this for a test without that fitted. The only consequence being is you don't get a <coughs> speed showing up on the, um, on the display. And there's no limit either. So, but yeah, apart from that, I think the cable's probably going to be turning up tomorrow or the day after. But... As you can see, there's the uh, <coughs> there's a 36 volt 17 amp hour battery, nicely mounted on the on the TerraCycles battery mount. We've got the um, displays mounted on a on a menorah dis uh, accessory mount. It's quite a nice bit of kit actually. So yeah, it's uh, another great bike. I'm actually gonna take this out for a quick spin now. Now it's the evening and uh, traffic's hopefully calmed down a little bit on the lanes. There we go. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this in quite a high power mode. Probably keep it in speed mode. It's a 250 watt um, Tongsheng motor. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. First, first climbs eight eight percent goes up to ten percent towards the top, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Chocks away. It's nice and uh, 
nice and comfortable in speed mode. Feels like you're pedaling up, pedaling up a gentle slope. So let's set it in turbo mode. Oh, but it will spin.
never easy doing a There you have it, an Ice Trikes Adventure recumbent trike fitted with a Tongsheng TSDZ2 electric bike conversion kit and a 36 volt 17 amp hour battery and it's um, it's an absolute pleasure to ride actually, like I've said in my previous videos I am going to save up and buy myself one of these next year and I will be, um, well I'm either going to fit a, uh, I'm either going to fit a Tongsheng TSDZ2 probably go for the 52 volt version or I'm really tempted to fit a Bafang BBS HD but maybe that's a little bit um over the top because I still want to get a bit of a workout if you know what I mean um Bafangs are great motors I mean the BBS HD is a fantastic motor but in all fairness you know unless you lose it using a Bafang BBS HD in the lower levels of assist um you're not really, your legs aren't really getting much of a workout. The motor's doing all the work. One thing I love about the Tongsheng motors is because they use a torque sensor, they work in a similar way to the Bosch motors, in fact. Um, you, you know, you've, you've got to put a little bit of effort in in order to get assist. It's not a free ride, which, which I actually prefer. It's more of an enhanced cycling experience. But I'm definitely going to get some pennies up together for next summer and get one of these because I just I love the bits. I think they're great. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I shall be uploading more videos in the future.